That's a good camera angle, I can't lie. <laughs> Everyone talks so much shit about dropshipping. Dropshipping won't last. I wanna talk about why dropshipping that. But they fail to tell you how good of a business model it really is in terms of so many different things. In this video, I wanna run you through three main points. Number one, being that dropshipping is the first step to a successful e-commerce brand. Number two, how dropshipping complements other business models. And number three is the endless amount of skills you can learn with dropshipping. So let's get started. If you don't know who I am, my name is Artin and I've been running dropshipping stores for about five to six months really consistently. And over that time, I haven't made any crazy money, but I've learned some priceless knowledge that a book or a textbook will not be able to teach you. Dropshipping is the first step to a full-blown e-commerce brand. But how? I thought that dropshipping was only for the 14-year-olds who wanted to escape the matrix and the ones that thought that this was a quick get-rich-quick scheme. But back down to reality, this shit is not a get-rich-quick scheme. For those of you who do not know what dropshipping is, dropshipping is a film and business model where you source a product from a supplier, build a website, and you build a social media around that product to advertise it. Then you sell it to customers for a profit, and that's how you make your money. That's how some huge businesses in the industry are making their money and have made their big names. Let's talk about Manscaped, Blendjet, Gymshark, High Smile, The Udi, and that's just to name a few. In dropshipping, when you first start making sales and you actually start making profits, that's when you reinvest the profits that you've earned back into your business. That could be putting more money into your ads, putting custom labels on your products, custom packaging, faster shipping times, and even working with influencers and celebrities. If you think of your favorite brands, I'm not saying every brand out there is dropship, that is not what I'm saying. But if you think about all of your favorite brands, they all have custom packaging, they're all online, most of them have really fast shipping times, Sorry, hiccups. And they might even have some brand ambassadors and models that you will recognize. Recognize, I swear to God. As Jordan Bound said, dropshipping is only the first step to a fully branded e-commerce store. Dropshipping is truly just the first couple steps that we take on the journey of e-commerce where we create real brands, real products, start working with real influencers and scaling this up into something we can truly be proud of. So moving on to my second point. How does dropshipping complement other business models? They say that you should only stick to one business model and continue until you're successful, but they fail to tell you that if the other business model complements and uses the same skill set, then it won't really set you back as you'd continue working and building those same skills. I completely agree that you should stick to only one business model, but if you're really starting to dislike dropshipping, and you're planning on working on a different business or just doing something different, then this is where all the knowledge and skills you built during your dropshipping will come in handy. Let's say you wanna start an SMMA, a social media marketing agency. For SMMA, some of the skills you need is social media, is knowing how to use social media properly, making a logo for your brand, naming your brand, and having prior sales knowledge. Or you wanna start a clothing brand, Dropshipping and clothing brands pretty much go hand in hand. Clothing brand requires a website and you've already done that a bunch of times. It needs some social media experience and you would have already done that. You'll need a domain for your clothing brand and you've already bought a bunch of domains. It requires discipline and if you're on any business model, you know that you would have built some discipline along the way. It requires sourcing and finding suppliers and you already have some experience in that. Logo and brand name, marketing, and that's just to name a few of the skills that goes into clothing brands that you already have. All the stuff I just mentioned are skills that you've already developed or you're currently still developing, but that still gives you a big foundation and a huge head start from the people that are starting from scratch. You're already ahead of your competition or even let's say a personal trainer service. You need to find clients to train for money, you'll need a website, marketing skills, some communication skills, and you've already started developing those skills. Just like the clothing brand, you already have a big foundation, much larger than your competition that is starting from scratch. Point three, 
Dropshipping offers an infinite amount of skills that can be learned and mastered. Let's go through some of the really valuable and priceless skills you can learn through dropshipping. First skill is website design. If you enjoy designing websites, you can even become a freelancer. If you enjoy doing it, why not do it for a living? It's a high income skill and it's required for over 90% of any business model out there. Everyone needs a website. Skill two is stress management. If you haven't felt under pressure or stressed with your dropshipping business, you're not working hard enough or you're not doing enough. No matter how much money you're making, this is not meant to be easy and it's not meant to be comfortable. Being able to control and manage your stress is a useful skill that you can use anywhere in the world, not just in the business world, anywhere. And how can you learn to manage your stress? By putting yourself in stressful situations. You can't learn how to manage your stress by reading or hearing someone talk about it. You need to put yourself in stressful situations and get used to them. Skill three, marketing. Knowing how to advertise your product and use influencers to your advantage. Even knowing how to do one of those is a huge thing to know and could help you in many different aspects in the business world. Skill four is finding supplies and sourcing products. This skill comes in handy for supplement stores, print on demand stores, and clothing brands especially. As for all of those, you require sourcing a product from a supplier in all of those business models. Even though I'm not a crazy rich 16 year old, I've built up some really important skills that 99% of people my age won't even think about or attempt. This video is me talking about all the things that I've learned and why dropshipping is such a valuable business model. I've built all this knowledge from only a couple months of consistent dropshipping. So imagine what you could be learning and doing in a year or two years time. I hope all of you guys can see the logic behind this and just see how dropshipping as a whole is so useful for other business models, so useful to, for teaching you new skills and is just a, an amazing foundational builder for anything you want to do. If you got value out of this video or I changed your perspective on anything in a positive way, be sure to subscribe and like my videos so you get recommended more of my entrepreneur journey. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video if you made it this far and be sure to come back to my channel for more quality videos. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.